Hey YouTube, this is Josh with Josh Wright Piano TV. Today I'm coming to you with two exercises that should drastically improve your technique. I've been doing uh, these exercises for about a month as well as some practical applications I'll go through uh, with pieces you can work on with them. And um, I've just noticed a huge increase in strength, especially in three, four, and five. Um, I actually was watching uh, one of Paul Barton's videos. I actually emailed him a couple questions. There's been two Chopin etudes that I've really struggled with throughout my life. Um, this one, let's see. And this one. Anyway, I, uh, I emailed him just a couple questions because I saw a couple of his tutorials which are really wonderful on those pieces and um, we kind of chatted back and forth. He's a, he's a great YouTube teacher, uh, piano teacher and um, anyway, I was watching one of his videos and he recommended this exercise so I decided to try it. Uh, fives on C's and F's and three, four, three, four on everything else in between. Okay, and, and I need to work on, you know, relaxing my one and two while I do that. The other one I learned from a wonderful Russian teacher is just to use one and two. Keep doing one, two, don't switch. One, two, one, two, one, two. That's obviously very awkward. What this does, It not only strengthens your hands, but the awkwardness forces you to be very light and it will it will increase your agility. So this, going through each day, three, fours, and fives, and then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and also switch the one, two, one. So start with two, one, two, one, two, one. Okay, and then over time, what I've been doing, uh, practical application is, Uh, just going through. Forgot that left hand there. Um, just practicing the top line. And then... And to be honest, um, it sounds pathetic, but, uh, you know, I've played, like, some of the hardest piano repertoire there is like Scarbo. I actually felt really good about the way I played Scarbo and Andine and from Gaspar de la Nuit and I've played Rachmaninoff Concerti and I've never really had um, nearly as hard of a time with anything as with that etude and the double thirds. Practicing this little exercise each day has really helped me strengthen that and to be able to play these etudes more effectively. I still need to obviously work on them more, but I've also noticed a, a significant increase in strength and endurance with like other random things like in La Campanella. <laughs> Like that trill has always been hard for me. Because you gotta play this every. F and I've just noticed in many places, I'm also working on this. Um, and I just notice, I mean, even though that's like so much easier than those etudes, uh, just like. And I'm also working on a Metner. Um, the Sonata Tragique. And just like all these pieces that I'm working on have been like dramatically increased by just doing this 3-4-5 exercise and then I also throw in the 1-2-1 one, one just for lightness. So I hope that's helpful for you. Uh, you could obviously leave comments and send feedback to me if, uh, if you have any questions. My email is josh at joshwrightpiano.com. I just wanted to share that because I found it so extremely helpful. And I've actually been giving even, not beginners, but like intermediate students, I've just been giving them this exercise. And, and then 
just the top line of this etude, just so they have like an actual piece, so it's not, it's not just like an exercise completely. And I had a little boy come back the other week and he's like, oh my gosh, my three, four, and five, they already feel stronger. And I was like, yeah, me too. I'm working on the same stuff, you know, even my young students are. So I hope you can use that exercise in your own practice sessions um, and that it's just as helpful for you as it has been for me. Um, I'm gonna keep working on these two etudes and try and uh, make some pro practice videos on them once I feel like they're to a, a decent enough level. But um, if any of you have questions, feel free to email me. Thanks so much for watching today. Good luck in your practice.